What's up, man? King Loser, man. Y'all know how a nigga do. Back with another early morning upload, bro. It's early in the morning, too. It's like, I don't even know what time it is. It's like, I think it's 4, 8 o'clock. Just chilling and shit, my nigga. I want to make an early morning upload. I want to speak on some shit, bro. I want to mainly talk on, um... Real friends and shit, bro. And how a lot of times... Like, a lot of times I hear nowadays, and it's and some of it, a lot of it's true. Some of it is just people not being understanding. And some of it is not really being, like, put it like this, bro. I think that everybody gets bitter. I think everybody gets mad. I think everybody gets jealous. Everybody hates. Everybody has a moment where they're a hater. It's the understanding and it's the strength to come out of that and realize that you have to do better. You can't feel sorry for yourself. You cannot blame other people for your situation. You cannot look at other people's good sides and what other people are going through in a good way and say, oh, since they're going through that and they living good and I'm living bad, I must be doing something wrong because you're not, bro. Everybody goes through hard times. Everybody goes through struggles, et cetera, bro. Everybody does. Everybody does, bro. Um, I think a big part of it, though, with the confusion is a lot of people forget where they come from. And I'm not even gonna forget where they come from. A lot of people get into a good situation and forget the things they learned and they forget the way people treated them when they were in a bad situation. And what I mean by that is, bro, a lot of niggas like, put it like this. Niggas will do this. This is something real. This is something like, like a lot of stereotypes, bro, come from real shit. I'll, I'll tell you that all the time. This is something, and black men do this a lot. We will, we will be broke as hell. And we will complain about how all our women are gold diggers. We will complain about how all our women ain't shit. All our women just want us for our finances. All our women don't want to be with nobody unless they're financially stable. So no woman really cares about love, right? But when we do find a woman who actually wants to be with us when we're at our lowest, when we got our dirty drawers on, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much all we got to offer. You know what I'm saying? And she want to be with us. Every single time a nigga get into some money or some wealth, he lets his physical take over, nigga lets his hormones take over and his lust. And, and you know what's crazy? Instead of going to fuck these, instead of putting your queen, because clearly that woman is your queen. If she's seen a king in you when you don't have any, and that, truly you, a king doesn't need gold or any of that shit, bro, that they show kings with in movies. A king is something inside. So if a woman sees a king in you, my nigga, obviously that's your queen. So instead of taking care of your queen, setting her up, and if you want to go out here and, you know what I'm saying, let your lust flow out. Because ain't, to me, I don't think that's bad, my nigga, because I think it's worse than being in a relationship with somebody, knowing that you're lusting for other people because you're going to end up cheating, hurting somebody. When you could just tell them what's going on, try to get an understanding, go do your thing, and then just come back and get, sow all your wild oats, come back and do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Come back and be together, man, and make real progress. And you can still have real sex and make real love to your wife. Hey, your wife might have a little, some wild oats she haven't sold yet, man. You know? We got to start being fair all across the board. She gonna do her thing, maybe. Maybe it's a couple attractive guys that now that she got a little money they're looking at her, and she know they fake, so she just gonna, you know what I'm saying, do what she wanna do, have a little fun with them, uh, you know, get a nut, and then you know, do her thing. If that's what y'all wanna do. But a lot of times, niggas do the whole opposite. Niggas will go, will go literally, bro. Niggas will, will, will be with a chick. Right, the real queen, like I just said, bro. Niggas will be with the real queen. Niggas will hoe, leave her, quit fucking with her. The woman who was down with you when you have nothing. Niggas will straight leave her. Go give her one of these hoes that you probably been DMing for years. These hoes are never ever. You know what's crazy? A lot of women, I hate when people say women don't have time. People, man, women have all the time in the world. And women have their phone more than anybody on this goddamn planet. And even when a woman is at work, when she on her phone, when a woman is modeling, when a woman is making OnlyFans content, trust me, they have both. That's why women have four or five phones, bro. Content, personal use, pleasure. Trust me, bro. That's why a lot of fine women, a lot of successful women, a lot of women, entrepreneurship women, got like five or four phones, bro. Women are gonna keep phones on them. Women just have the option to choose because so they have so many different suitors, bro. And it's not that they don't see, they're choosing, they just didn't choose your ass. Which is cool. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. Everybody has a choice. That's why we have choices to make them. And you, and your choice is your choice. It was given to you for you to choose, not for me to choose. What you eat don't make me shit. You know what I'm saying? What turns you on don't turn me on. You know, that's that's the way it's that's the way it's supposed to be. We're not all the same, bro. So we're not all turned on by the same things. 
So I'm not I'm not turned on by every woman. Every woman ain't attractive to me. Some women I think are attractive. You might not attract to every man, of course. Every man ain't attractive to you. You know, you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. But so many fucking, like, niggas will go get with the bitch they been DMing forever, that didn't choose them. And, and instead of sleeping with her and let or, or treating her the way she treats, because those are really the pieces of trash. Not the women who don't look the way you want them to look. Not the women who are not in financial positions that you are in because they didn't suck and fuck to get their way. Because most of them women that look, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I think now in the industry, I don't give a fuck who gets mad. 99% of them women suck and fuck to get where they at. From Cardi B to Nicki Minaj, all of them. Now, back in the day, it was about lyricism. Back in the day, it was about real stance. You had to build a real fan base. I'm not saying Nicki Minaj didn't do those things, bro. Nicki Minaj is probably the closest authentic to a real female rapper out of all those women that's out right now. But she still sucked and fucked to get to her position. Nicki Minaj was on Cash Money, bro, for a long time. Nicki Minaj got gang banged out by Birdman then, bro. They... Trust me, they the way they was fucking Nikki when they got her that surgery, they had that bitch get up, uh, they'll have her get up on the table, butt naked with that big ass booty, and whoever Birdman pointed to was coming hitting it, my nigga. They was gang banging Nikki. She been through it too. They all been through it. That's why they, you know what's crazy? That's why they're so angry. You can tell a woman who's been rawed out because they're very angry and bitter and very tough. A lot of them bitches are, are really solid and mean and uh, very cold because they've been ran the fuck out, bro. They been punched. They 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 had they they clock punched so many different times, my nigga. So many different dicks. And I told you guys, sex is spiritual. Sex is spiritual, bro. This is why you were supposed to take sex way more serious than we do, but we fucking don't. Sex is serious, my G. Sex is serious, bro. So these women got like 19. These women got like over 100 spirits of different men in them. They got hustlers, scammers. They got niggas probably that was pedophiles back in the day. They got niggas that probably rape women. Rape men, they don't even know before they fucked them. So, you know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? These niggas are in high positions of value, and these are the type of things that these men do with a lot of money. They do all, they got all type of fucked up past. You know what I'm saying? These niggas do all type of wicked, wicked shit. They climb on bones. They climb on flesh of, and bloody bodies that are pumping blood to get where they're going. And they stand on them with their tough fucking red bottom shoes, okay? And hurt the flesh. They, they basically don't try and do They'll do anything to get where the fuck they are. And they grind, they're grimy. They'll eat their own mama. They'll use that. They'll trade their own mama's blood for an ounce, of, for a motherfucking, um, for a motherfucking gallon of gas to get to a goddamn um, radio station or a motherfucking label if they could to get signed. If, if they had to, if they had to get to a label to get signed. They didn't have no gas. Instead of them asking for a ride for someone, or instead of them just telling the label they can't make it, they will probably trade their mama's blood, sell their mom, sell their mothers, sell their mothers out, sell their soul, give their mama's life, like Kanye West to be famous. Okay, bro. Most motherfuckers, most of these motherfuckers would. Let's just keep the shit G. Most motherfuckers would. Anyway. Shit's just, it's crazy, bro. It's it, like motherfuckers, it's, it's spiritual, bro. And back to what I was saying, sex is spiritual, bro. These women are fuck, like I, I, I don't know, man. I'm getting kind of I'm kind of confused now. On what I was speaking of for some reason, I just had like a real weird brain fart or something. But I know for a fact I was just talking kind of about um, how people don't people forget where they come from, my nigga. Like put it like this: if you rich, if you rich right now, if you a rich nigga. The niggas around you that are rich are not your friends, bro. You are rich. Y'all make y'all use y'all are probably more than likely y'all are using each other for social proof. The fact that y'all are check this out having friends makes you more attractive to women. I don't know if you other men know that watch this video, bro, but having friends makes you more attractive to women. When you don't have friends, it's women look at you as like something, like why don't you have friends? Something must be something, there's something about you that makes people want to be away from you. So why would I want to be near you? Okay, you know what I'm saying? But having friends makes you more attractive. Having more money, we know, makes you motherfucking irresistible. So more than likely, these dudes use each other for social proof. If these niggas didn't have money, they'd be shitting on each other just like they shitting on you, bro. Don't forget where you come from, never forget who you are, bro, and remember, if, if you fucking with a bitch, if you know you don't have the money you fucking with, bro, you don't have the money you got, she wouldn't be with you. My nigga, treat that bitch as a Corley. Treat that bitch as a motherfucking um, associate. Treat that bitch as somebody who is in your life temporarily. And she come and goes, just like the money. Y'all got to stop treating these goddamn women as if they, they're actually stable and they solid as a rock. They've been there from the beginning. This nigga Moneybag, yo, on that song Brain that I was just bumping. 
I was I was rocking with it because I, I listened to the song for what it's for. He got a lot of money. I already want to be with him. I already going to hold him down because he got a lot of money. When he started talking about something, if he loses, bro, check this out. Money back, yo, lose some money. That bitch is going to leave. She's the, look, this is my thing. This is my thing, bro. Because I know y'all finna, finna, finna say, Carl, she just said something about gold diggers. This is my shit. This is my thing, bro. That bitch clearly is with you for your position, not for who you are. That's all I'm saying, my nigga. Remember, remember that peeps. Remember who wants you for who you are. Remember who likes you for who you are. And remember who likes you for who, what position you in. That's the main point in this video.